Hi, this is Christina Hills from the website Creation Workshop, and I am so excited to teach you about this plugin, Plugin Detective, and how it can help you troubleshoot problems you are having. So here is the situation how it should be. So I'm inside one of my students' sites under Appearance Widgets, and when you come in here, you should see all your available widgets. But my student got into a situation where all of a sudden these were not appearing. So what I'm going to do is walk you through the process of using Plugin Detective and how that helped me troubleshoot where the problem was. And once you learn this, you can do it yourself. And it is a free plugin, uh, and you can find out more about it at WordPress.org. So I went offline to put it back into the troubled state. So see in appearance widgets, everything is missing. So you're wondering, why are my widgets missing? What's going on? Now, before I walk you through this process, Plugin Detective will help you find problems that are on the outside of your site. Uh, this is, in this instance, it's going to detect what's going on on the inside. So this is how you use it. Let's go to Plugins, Installed Plugins, and we're going to go down to Plugin Detective. And it's already, I've already installed and activated it, and now I'm going to go ahead and go through the process of troubleshooting any plugin conflicts. So I click on this, and here's where it's really fun. You get this little guy, Detective Autobot, and he's going to help figure out what is wrong with the site. So let's open a new case. And this can take some time. So the thing is, is he wants you to navigate to where you're seeing the problem and then let him know when you're there. So the problem in this instance is not on the outside, it's on the inside. So let's go into the dashboard. And we want to come to Appearance Widgets. And do know as you're doing this, sometimes it takes time to get somewhere. So you might have to be patient and wait. And you'll notice when it asks you, is this still where you're seeing the issue? So once we're in the spot where we're seeing the problem, we'll click on I'm there. Okay, so that took a little bit of time. I paused the, I paused the video. It took a little bit of time. See our widgets are missing. So now we'll say we are in the location where we're having the problem and we'll click I'm there. Then it says what are your required plugins for the site to function? So you can in order for the site to function you can click certain things um, but I think I will try this without clicking anything. So what what that does is if if you uh, if you turned okay so what this does is if uh, the site won't function without something then you you need to put in the required plugins so I think I'll put uh, polylang pro and loco translate these are two that she needs because she has them in multiple languages so I'll leave those and then I'll click I'm done so now what it's doing is it's in it's gonna it wants us to start interrogating and this is what I love about this plugin it just makes it so much fun to go through this process so let's click start interrogating and here's your site is the problem fixed yes the problem is fixed we see our sidebar widget so we'll click yes it's fixed so it needs to go through because what it's doing is it's sorting things so let's go start interrogation again. Is your problem fixed? See, and so it's interrogating 14 and there's 12 remaining. So it's a process of elimination that's just really fun. Yes, it's fixed. So now it's, now I have to keep going through this process till it gets to the end. So start interrogating and just be patient while it goes through this. All right, so now in this interrogation pass, oh, my widgets are gone, so it's still broken. So I'm going to click, no, it's still broken. 
And now I keep going through this process till I get to the end. And here it's like, yes, it's fixed because here are my widgets. And what it's doing is it's sorting things. So it has cleared out all these 20 plugins are not the problem. Uh, this is the holding cell for plugins that might be the problem. So we'll click on Start Interrogating. And I'll click Yes, it's fixed. And then I'll go Start Interrogating. Again, be patient while it's thinking. And see, it's going through the interrogation process. Nope, it's broken. So I'll say, no, it's still broken. And here's the culprit that is found. So for some reason, recent post widget with thumbnails is not working with this site. And uh, this is a plugin that I like a lot, but for some reason it is now not working. So uh, later I can just try to figure out why it stopped working because it was working before. So you can just click deactivate it for me. And now it's been deactivated, culprit's been found, return to the WordPress admin dashboard, I come to appearance widgets, and I see it. So that is how you use this really fun plugin to go through and figure out why something is not working. This is going to save you time and money, not having to hire a tech to do the troubleshooting because it has found what it is that is not working. I now have my widgets again and uh, this that plugin that it figured out that wasn't working for me, let me come over to my plugins area or this is my students plugins area and come into the recent post widget with thumbnails. Again, this is a plugin I use all the time and it's just possible with the other combination of plugins that it's not working. It has deactivated it. So what my student can do is she can decide, well, she just won't bother using that plugin. Maybe she'll find something else or she'll sort of work around it. But what's great about Plugin Detective is it really puts the power into the non-techie person having this detective figure out what plugin it is that is causing a problem or conflicts. And you saw how fast I did this and I didn't have to hire anyone else to help me. So go ahead, try out Plugin Detective. It is free and uh, it'll help with lots of other things. And again, if you need to troubleshoot at any point, you can go back and, and use it again in the future if you should have other problems. And it works on problems seeing on the inside or if you have problems on the outside. This is Christina Hills with the website Creation Workshop.